one of the thing, re, things that makes nuclear EMP attacks so attractive to potential adversaries is that you can make the attack and keep your fingerprints off of it. You could do it anonymously. If you were using the satellite, for example, one of the first things that gets destroyed by the EMP attack is our satellites and our ballistic missile early warning radars and our national technical means for figuring out who attacked us. These things get destroyed at the speed of light. So there's hundreds of satellites in low Earth orbit, and we wouldn't necessarily know whose satellite exploded and caused that EMP attack. Another way of keeping your fingerprints off the attack is to use a freighter like this, shown in the picture, uh, because there's tens of thousands of freighters constantly in U.S. territorial waters. And uh, th there are Scud missiles, there are something like 80 countries have Scud missiles, and some terrorist groups have them. The Houthis uh, in uh, Yemen are constantly making Scud strikes against, uh, uh, against Saudi Arabia, for example, and we know the Taliban had Scud missiles. All they need is a nuclear weapon, just one nuclear weapon. Put it on a freighter and do an attack against the eastern grid, and that's the end of us. And it appears that North Korea was also practicing that during its exercise in 2013, because there was a North Korean freighter called the uh, Chong Chong Gang that found its way into the Gulf of Mexico uh, in, during that nuclear crisis we had with North Korea back in, in April of 2013. It, uh, it tra traversed the, the Gulf of Mexico. It was in our backyard. We didn't even really know about it. And then it was like the North Koreans wanted to see, well, just how much could they get away with? So they tried to take this freighter back home through the Panama Canal. Now, what happened that this freighter was on the terrorist watch list because it was notorious for smuggling drugs and small arms. And we weren't looking for nuclear missiles. We were looking for, uh, for drugs or small arms. But hidden under thousands of bags of sugar were, were two of these SA-10 uh, nuclear-capable surface-to-air missiles. They're really perfect for an EMP attack, short-range EMP attack, because they're designed to go to high altitude and detonate a warhead at high altitude. The, the, this particular SA, uh, uh, excuse me, it was an SA-2. An SA-2 missile is uh, designed to carry a 10 kiloton warhead. Now, fortunately, uh, this was just an exercise and it didn't have a nuclear warhead on it, but the missiles were mounted on their launchers and, uh, and could have been fueled up and launched from the freighter after the, they threw their sugar bags out. Bad guys have actually practiced taking out electric grids already. It's not just a theoretical threat. Uh, in this view graph, uh, it shows uh, blackouts that put nearly half a million Mexicans into the dark. It was a, a, a blackout caused by a drug cartel, the Knights Templars, sort of a terrorist drug cartel that was operating in Mexico. And they were using a, a conventional explosives to blow up uh, transformer substations. What they wanted to do is put into temporary blackout a whole province of, of, of Mexico so they could go into the villages and towns and uh, publicly assassinate uh, village elders and political leaders who were opposed to the drug trade. And they did it and they got away with it, did it successfully. The point here is that uh, when, when Neanderthals like the, the Knights Templars have figured out that the electric grid is a major societal vulnerability and, uh, and they can get an advantage by taking it down, what, what, what are Al-Qaeda and uh, the, the jihadists, uh, North Korea and Iran, China and Russia, much more sophisticated actors? What are they capable of doing? Indeed, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula is the, uh, uh, was the first terrorist group to actually black out a whole country. And this happened on June 9, 2014. They used conventional attacks to temporarily black out Yemen, which was a, a, a country of... Uh, of uh, 24 cities and 19 million people. That's a picture of one of the uh, high voltage towers that was knocked down by the uh, uh, Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. The Taliban blacked out most of the country of Pakistan on this date, in this, in this view graph. And Pakistan is a nuclear weapons state. Uh, you know, what were they doing? Are they practicing blacking out Pakistan so they, want to, so they can seize a nuclear weapon and then use it against us? Ukraine has been blacked out almost every Christmas now. Uh, Russia makes cyber attacks against Ukraine and, uh, and blacks them out as a demonstration of its power. These are temporary blackouts. They're not destroying the transformers and generators so that they become permanent blackouts that, kill, that end up killing lots of people. They are, in effect, 
sort of like military training or military exercises and demonstrations of their power to show the world what they can do 